Hello, my name is Ankit Saraswat. I have over 15 years of experience in SAP Consulting. In this video presentation, we are going to discuss the features and functionalities of Advanced ATP in SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA brings a lot of new features and functionalities with regards to Advanced ATP, like product allocation, backorder processing, supply protection, alternative-based confirmation, and supply creation-based confirmation. Supply creation-based confirmation is an integration between ATP and PPDS that we will be covering later. However, today in this presentation, in this video presentation, we are just going to discuss the features and functionalities of product allocation and backorder processing. Now, what is product allocation? Let's take a quick look at the business case. Most of the times it happens that multiple sales organizations or multiple teams uses the common warehouse for the order fulfillment. When these teams use a common warehouse for the order fulfillment, there is a specific or there is a limited quantity of label in the warehouse. However, the sales organizations or the customer teams can create the order and consume all the quantities in one order or in multiple orders that belong to one sales organization. This can create a lot of confusion amongst the different teams in the organization or the sales organization within the organization. And it also leads to customer dissatisfaction. To control this, SAP has come up with the new feature called product allocation in advanced ATP in s -Fuhana. Advanced ATP's Product allocation can be used to plan and allocate the stock based on certain criteria like plant, sales organization, customer, group, etc. So that one sales organization can only book the allocated stock and the remaining stock remains free for the other sales organization. Or one team can only use the allocated stock to cater to its own customer and the remaining stock is still available for the other teams so that they can also cater to their customers. So this is like a quota assignment. So out of whatever remaining stock we have, we can define the quota for each and every team or the sales organization based on multiple criteria so that one team can only use the quota. Let's say the, the total quantity available quantity is 100 and the quota assigned to sales organization one or allocation uh, to sales organization one is let's say 40. So in a given month or in a given time period, this sales organization can only create total order for that particular material within the given parameter up to this quantity. So that is that we're going to see in the Fury apps. So let's go to SAP and see how it is done. For the product allocation, SAP has given these intuitive Fury apps, configure product allocation, manage product allocation sequence, Manage product allocation planning data, assign product to product allocation, product allocation overview, and manage characteristic catalog. So please use these Fury apps. If you do not have these Fury apps in your uh, in your screen, you can check the uh, application ID in the uh, Fury app Fury reference library and can get them at it. You can also take help of the basis team of your respective organizations. Now let's see how we configure the product allocation. So here, I need to create one product allocation object. I can give the name, any name to this object, description, the quanti uh, quantity unit, and the period. So this period can be month, year, quarter, day, or week. So this can be anything. So I have chosen month here. Then the time that what is the period time zone and the purpose so I am going to use this product allocation for the sales document I can also use it for the stock transport and then how system will consider the date how system is going to calculate the date whether based on the requested delivery time or based on the uh, good issue date or based on the material availability date so I have chosen the requested delivery date here now, on what basis I want to do this quota assignment, whether it is on the basis of the 
uh, sales organization or on the basis of customer group or on the basis of distribution channel so we have uh, a few uh, characteristics available that is given by SAP so we can use any of such characteristics so in this demo I have used the customer group as the characteristics so on the basis of customer group I am going to define the quota so once the allocation object is created then I come here manage product allocation sequence and here I need to assign my product allocation object with the product allocation sequence important thing here is backward consumption and the forward consumption so this is the period so up to how many months system can go backward and check the available quantity and add the quantity in the current month quota and in case of forward consumption up to how many months system can check the further allocation and can consider that quantity in the current month quota so I have chosen zero here but if required we can also add the values here and the third step here is I need to assign my product to the product allocation so here I have to choose my product allocation sequence and I can go to edit and I can add here and I'm going to add my material code let's say material code that I have chosen is this and plant is 1010 so this is an important uh, activity just a second 1010 yes 1010 and maybe sorry it was this So now I have done this assignment. So material plant assignment is important assignment here. Then I come to manage product allocation planning data. And here I need to create my planning data. I'm going to add, so I'm going to say for customer group one my monthly allocation is let's say 10 quantity for customer group two my monthly allocation is let's say 20 quantity and I will save It means that if I'm creating a sales order and the customer group is 01 irrespective of what the unrestricted quantity is I can only create sales order up to 10 quantity in the month of May one correction it is not that I can create orders I can create any orders but system is gonna confirm the quantity in the schedule line only up to this quantity which I have assigned here no matter what the unrestricted quantity is so let's keep it open and go to our SAP screen to check the sales order I have already created one sales order sales order number is 362 and here is the same material code and my customer group is 2 for customer group 2 I have given 20 quantities let me just go back again and check so 
for customer group 2 I have 20 quantities for customer group 1 I have 10 quantity so it should have 20 quantities right system should so let's say I create an order for 100 quantity and I can see that system confirms only 20 quantity because I have allocated only 20 quantity for customer group 2 let me now change the customer group 2 instead of 2 2 I change it to 1 and for 1 I have allocated only 10 quantity so I again create an order for 100 quantity and see what happens then based on the allocation system has confirmed only 10 quantities so we can see that irrespective what the available quantity is I can also show you what is the available quantity ATP quantity for this item so we have total 25 quantities available and I wanted to create the stock uh, the order for 100 quantity but system has only confirmed the 10 quantity because we have defined in the location that for the customer group 2 system can only confirm or we can only confirm the 10 quantity out of whatever is available and for customer group 2 uh, it can be 20 so this way we can control and we can assign the <coughs> limited quantities out of the available quantity based on multiple factors